cocktail sessions, educational and inspirational talks from experienced startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders. As I said, my name is Sarah Austin, and I am a video blogger, a blogger, and also a matchmaker for startups. So I connect startups to brands and am reverse engineering the process of funding by working with brands and startups to create investments, partnerships, and even acquisitions. And I think that it's really exciting to be in, in places like Vegas and also lots of other accelerators and be in Silicon Valley and get to talk to people like you and hear about your ideas, whether you're a business guy or a developer or just somebody who's looking to give back to a community. Um, so, so thanks so much for having me again. And um, I wanted to give you a little bit of a background into why I'm so passionate about this space and um, a little bit about my family and, and, and why before I jump into turning a personal brand into a business. So um, my dad actually is a construction engineer. And so I grew up watching him build um, everything from working with like Webcore who built um, Hoover Dam here in Las Vegas to um, him growing into his own company. Now he's building the high-speed railroad. So I've always seen him um, start small projects and, and create them into very large projects. Even like small projects in my backyard, like um, it was pretty much like wood chop class. <laughs> in my backyard, we would build everything for in, in the house. And um, we even built a guitar once. And um, I've just been so passionate to see now how these two worlds are growing as startups are innovating new spaces and ways to put together infrastructure and, and seeing what's going on with the downtown project. And um, it's just so inspiring to see all these startups here uh, who are engaging in a community and how important that is to actual physical space. So um, actually, there's two sides to that. So growing up, I... Um, was inspired by what my dad was doing building, but I also saw how there was displacement of people who would be forced out of areas um, because of construction. And so part of these urban renewal projects in my own hometown in Marin County, my uh, local community at Marin City, had a project going on called the Urban Renewal Project. And it um, actually was forcing out a lot of the um, minority people, you know, mostly blacks who, you know, even Tupac Shakur went to my high school and I had a lot of friends who lived there and I was seeing the families have to move out because they were building large mansions and people couldn't afford to stay. So, uh, whoops, uh, heels, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so uh, I actually did a documentary project um, about this and I interviewed the people and I also interviewed the developers and I learned so much um, from working with the community and it's also like working with my dad who was on the other side, the development side of it, um, not that specific project. And um, I was always sort of torn, like while wow, it was so cool to see uh, him build cities, it was also uh, really important to ha harvest a local community and make sure that that uh, was kept and preserved. And so I went out yesterday and I talked to a lot of the locals here <laughs> and I was um, sort of doing my own interviews with people from like my cab driver to like the guy at the dollar store to, um, you know, the bus driver um, going around the town. <laughs> and they were all saying really positive things from the community about um, how much they think that this project is preserving that um, and really doing a lot for Las Vegas. So it was cool to see the community um, aspect from the people here who are coming in and then the people who are already here sort of really appreciating it. So that was really cool. Um, and so in my efforts, you know, to defy uh, myths and stuff, I, I kind of learned that, oh, actually, urban renewal here seems to be working out. Um, and so I, I really do appreciate um, the thought that's put behind that. So let's get into turning personal brands into a business. I thought while I'm defying myths, hey, why don't we talk about some myths of personal branding? So um, I came up with three because I only have 10 minutes here. So I would go on and on, um, but I can't. So let's go into the first one here. Um, the first one is some people think that personal branding is just for celebrities like Paris Hilton or Britney Spears. 
And actually, that's not true. Personal branding is for brands like BMW or even just the brand manager or the car salesman. So anybody needs a personal brand. It's not just for big celebrities, actually. Um, it, that personal connection that you have with a person behind a brand or you know, a salesman or somebody, you want to make your purchasing decision based on knowing that person. Like how many people have had a personal shopper or been shopping where you had somebody selling you something, you felt that connection to that person and that may affect your decision to buy something. So everyone in business should have a personal brand. In fact, a lot of companies are requiring people to have personal brands these days. And so it's like, hey, why not just start now? <laughs> because it's always good to get a head start because you will eventually have to have one anyway. And then the second myth that we will defy is um, you have to be a community leader. So you have to be in some sort of vertical, like cars or whatever. But um, you actually don't have to be a race car driver. You can be um, anybody at all as long as you like your community. You could be a knitter, and there's a huge knitting community online. And you could really sort of connect with those people. So it's all about finding whatever communities that are people like you. So I came up with an equation to help you guys. If you um, don't know what yours is, then you can just use this. It's your self-impression plus your passion equals how people perceive you. So if you just do that, then you'll figure out what vertical you can fit into and what community out there um, will be sort of like you. And then you will be able to bring something to that community because community is all about bring something to the table, you show up to a party, you bring a bottle of wine, um, you show up to this community the first time, you engage, you talk to them, you listen to them, and that is, I mean, I, I'll also do like Valentine's Day cards, um, so if you leave a comment on my video, I'll send you a V-Day card um, with like those little <laughs> sweetheart uh, candies in them. So stuff like that's fun too. Um, and then you can always sort of track what is going on with, um, stuff like Google Reader or Google Alerts so that you know, you're always on. You can get that ping when somebody's um, trying to engage with you so you don't miss them and you can sort of be on it. Which leads me to the last one, which is, oh man, uh, personal branding just takes up so much time with a family and everything, with your job. How are you gonna have the time to devote to building a social media presence? And yes, it is um, a lot of time, but the good side of that is that it only takes you about 30 seconds to send a tweet. And when I video blog from my iPhone, it usually only takes me about two minutes to post a video online. So that's relatively not a lot of time. Yes, it is around the clock, but you can bring in your family and your personal life. You can bring in your professional life and you can create a professional community share those moments, whether it is with your family, bring in that, that community to support you, and just do it around the clock. You can be always on, you know, the, the iPhone office. This is my office, and I can travel around the world and be anywhere at any time and video blog and engage with everybody um, to now have an extended community and family beyond myself that I care about. And when I meet my friends and followers online, um, you know, collectively I have about 200,000 across different um, variable social media outlets and everyone matters to me like a friend. Like I'll meet somebody um, on the street or a mall or somebody and um, will come up to me and say, hey, I recognize you from your video blog or whatever and I'll just wanna give them a hug. Like <laughs> I feel so connected that it is like having that friend even though you only talk to each other on Twitter. Um, a lot of the great friendships that I have um, actually started on, on social media. So don't be shy, get out there, start your personal brand today because pretty soon your business will need you to do that and um, it's just a great place to be. Take it from me. Yeah. <laughs>